base point and participation factor method solved problem 2 assume that all three of the thermal units described below are running find the economic dispatch schedule as requested in each part use the method and starting conditions given these are the unit data given with the minimum and maximum limit and the fuel cost first find the economic dispatch for the total demand of 450 megawatt and second one use the base point and participation factor method to calculate the economic schedule for the demand of 495 megawatt so the difference in demand is 45 megawatt here solution first one find the economic dispatch for the total demand of 450 megawatt step one find lambda using the formula pd plus summation i equal to 1 to n bi by 2 ai divided by summation i equal to 1 to n 1 by 2 ai substituting n equal to 3 here in this problem we are having three units so the formula become pd plus b1 by 2a1 plus p2 by 2a2 plus b3 by 2a3 divided by 1 by 2a1 plus 1 by 2a2 plus 1 by 2a3 so a1 a2 a3 are the coefficients of p1 square p2 square and p3 square in the cost function and b1 b2 b3 are coefficients of p1 p2 and p3 in the cost function respectively so substituting the values demand is 450 and b1 is 8.4 divided by 2 into a1 plus b2 divided by 2 into a2 plus b3 divided by 2 into a3 divided by 1 by 2 a1 plus 1 by 2 a2 plus 1 by 2 a3 so you'll be getting 9.6785 so lambda equal to 9.6785 step 2 find the power generation pi so for all the three units find the power so pi is equal to lambda minus bi by 2 ai so for the first units p1 is equal to lambda minus b1 divided by 2 a1 substituting the lambda from the previous step and b1 and a1 from the cost function we will be getting 127.85 megawatt similarly p2 104.27 megawatt and p3 is 217.85 megawatt so now we are going to check the limit so minimum and maximum limit for each unit is given so if you consider the first unit minimum is 45 maximum is 350 the answer we got is 127.85 megawatt so the first unit power is lies within the limit and second unit power is also lies within the limit 45 to 350 and third unit power 217.85 which also lies within the limit so p1 p2 p3 values are within the limit so the economic dispatch for the total demand of 450 megawatt will be p1 equal to 127.85 megawatt p2 equal to 104.27 megawatt and p3 equal to 217.85 megawatt and second part of the problem use the base point and participation factor method to calculate the economic schedule for the demand of 495 megawatt so for this we need to find hi dash and hi double dash so differentiate the fuel cost equation to get hi dash so differentiating the cost function 225 is constant so 0 and 8.4 p1 differentiation of this 8.4 p1 is 8.4 and differentiation of this term 0 0.0025 p1 square is 2 into 0 0.0025 p1 so similarly for the second and third unit so multiplying this 2 into 0 0.0025 it become 0 0.005 so h1 dash equal to 8.4 plus 0 0.005 p1 similarly for other two units h2 dash and h3 dash take this as first equation now differentiate this hi dash to get hi double dash so differentiating the first equation so 8.4 plus 0 0.005 p1 differentiating this 8.4 is constant so differentiation is 0 and 0 0.005 p1 differentiation is 0 0.005 similarly for the next two units we will be getting h1 double dash equal to 0 0.005 h2 double dash equal to 0 0.0162 h3 double dash equal to 0 0.005 take this as second equation so now we are going to use this values to find the economic schedule using the base point and participation factor method the participation factor for each unit can be calculated using the formula del pi by del pd equal to 1 by hi double dash divided by summation i equal to 1 to n 1 by hi double dash where n is equal to 3 here in this problem so first one del p 1 by del pd this is equal to 1 by h1 double dash divided by 1 by h1 double dash plus 1 by h2 double dash plus 1 by h3 double dash substituting all the values from this 
you will be getting 0 0.4331. Similarly, for del P2 by del PD, you will be getting 0 0.1336. Del P3 by del PD, which is 0 0.4331. Now, the difference in power demand, del PD equal to 495 minus 450. The difference is 45 megawatt. And in the previous step, we got this del PI by del PD values. So, using this, the new value of generation is calculated using the formula P nu i is equal to P base i plus del P i by del P d into del P d for first unit P nu 1 is equal to P base 1 that is the base power we calculated previously P 1 equal to 127.85 megawatt and del P 1 by del P d which is 0 0.4331 and the change in power demand del P d is 45. So, substituting that will be getting P nu 1 is equal to 147.33 megawatt. The similar way find for second unit. So, P nu 2 equal to P base 2 which is 104.27 megawatt and del P 2 by del P d is 0.1336 into del P d is 45 will be getting 110.282 megawatt. Similarly, for third unit you will be getting 237.85 megawatt. So, this is how we need to find the economic schedule using the base point and participation factor and the final value is P1 equal to 147.33 megawatt, P2 equal to 110.282 megawatt and P3 is equal to 237.85 megawatt.